Yabancı, Barbarian, Magician, Thief, Cavalier and Acrobat. That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Keep going. From up here, we may be able to see which way to go to get home. Can't you do something about your little brother? He's not bothering anyone. He's bothering me. I'm trying to think of a way to get us out of this freaky place and back home. If there is a way home. Don't worry. There is, and we'll find it. I hope. Come on, Uni. You try. charging off like that. Aw, sis, I could have handled her. Sheesh, I don't blame Vinger for being scared of that dragon. Nice maneuver, pupil. Dungeon Master, uh, where did you come from? Oh, someplace between there and here. Listen, I've had it with your riddles. Now give us a straight answer for once. How do we get out of this world? Patience, Cavalier. All things have a purpose, including your presence here. Hmm. Tonight is the celebration in the village of Helix. You will journey to the north for it. There you may find something that will help you get back home. Helix was once at the mercy of flying dragons who attacked at night, but good magic drove them away. Now, on your way, you must fear only the many faces of evil, all known as Venger. You shall know his newest face by his white hair. Beware, young adventurers. Wait, Dungeon Master, you can't just leave us to... Huh? <laughs> He's gone! Wow! I hate it when he does that. I think it's neat. I'm worried. Sheila, you're always worried. It's simple. The man said go north. We, we should, should go, go north. north. Diana's right. It's the only clue we have to a way home. We have to try it. All this walking has been a waste of time. I'd trade anything for Dad's limousine right now. I'd trade your Dad's limousine for a peanut butter and banana sandwich right now. I'm hungry too, Bobby. Leave it to me. I'll produce some magic burgers. The last time you tried this, we wound up with live turkeys. Can I help it if my hat thought it was Thanksgiving? Abra, come here. Magic burgers up here. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Presto, I kind of like my burgers a little more well done than that. Mm. Very funny. Let's keep walking. <laughs> 
There's got to be something out here. Nice cow. According to this, we're somewhere near Merlin's castle. Oh, right! Merlin the Magician! He's supposed to be able to work miracles! According to legend, Merlin can do anything. Even get us home? If Merlin can't, no one can. Huh? Merlin's castle that way. But that's the way we just came. We couldn't have missed it. Not a whole castle. Well, according to these signs, it should be right here. I don't get it. I do. We forgot to look up. Wow! He lives in a castle in the sky? Where'd you expect Merlin to live? Well, before Merlin can help us get home, someone's going to have to help us get to Merlin. Hey, look! A ladder! Everyone, follow me. Finally, we're going to meet a real wizard. Face it, Uni. As a wizard, I'm no whiz. Wait down there, Uni. I'll come back for you. I promise. Wow. My folks have a place just like this in the mountains. Wish I was there. Sometimes we wish you were there too, Eric. Remember what the Dungeon Master said about Venger. We should recognize him by his white hair. Drawbridge is up! Hello! Can't you just swim across the moat? Well, maybe you'd like to try. Oh, huh. no, no thanks. I've never cared much for skydiving. This looks like my department. <laughs> oh, she made it! Hello? Is anyone here? I am here. Tell me, Ranger, what brings you here? You know me? He's Merlin. He knows everyone. Well, we're headed for the town of Helix. Look, he has white hair. Would that I did, young lady. I am a great magician, but the one thing I cannot do is grow hair. Sorry, Merlin. We were warned that an enemy of ours... Just ask him about getting us home. No need. I already know. You seek a way back to your birth world. Come. Many great spells have been cast in this hall. Wow! I cannot grant you the way back. You can't? Oh, great! But I can tell you where you are headed. Many years ago, the land of Helix fought back against one who would conquer them. The defeated conqueror vowed vengeance. Dungeon Master told us this already. Bobby, shh. Yes, but he did not tell you that one year Merlin appeared, cast a spell, and his good magic drove out evil. The dragons were gone forever. Ah, oh, brother. And every year, Helix celebrates the defeat of the Winged Terrors. Hey, great story there, you know, but I didn't come to listen to fairy tales. Now, if you're not going to help us get home, I'm leaving. <gasps> I, I'm second thought. Oh, oh no. It's Tiamat. <gasps> Back for seconds, eh, dragon? Bobby! You don't scare me. This time you'll not escape me. <laughs> Quickly, we must leave. I'll keep her busy. Get going. This way, everyone. There. The dungeon. No escape. Everyone help me. <sighs> oh. 
Okay, presto, see if you can conjure up a carpet. A carpet? Whatever you say. Perfect! I did it! Hey, Dragon Breath! You looking for somebody? Now that's what I call teamwork! Let's get out of here! Oh, Merlin, here's your rabbit. Thank you, my child. But it's not a rabbit, it's a hare. A white hare. You saved an old magician's life. Saved your life? I thought you were supposed to live forever. No, no. I'm 70 years young, my lad. The age where I begin searching for one to teach my secrets to. One like this one. That one? Me? Indeed. I saw your wizardry and was quite impressed. I can teach you all my magic, but only if you stay here for the rest of your life. Gee. Listen, if Merlin's not gonna help us get home, I say we shove off for that Helix place, huh? Eric, we have to wait for Presto. You don't think Presto would stay with Merlin, do you? No way. Presto would never leave us. Farewell. Your friend has decided to stay and become my apprentice. He's going to stay? Forever? Presto, are you sure? Uh, I'm sure. I can't believe it. It's our fault, you know, always making fun of him when his magic tricks backfired. Assistant, I need you. Later, we shall have to deal with the dragon you locked in my dungeon. Deal with the dragon? How? The answers to all questions are contained in this book. Stir the cauldron until I return. Yeah, sure. Answer to all questions? It's gotta be in here someplace. A spell to get us all home. This is it. Let's see. Boiled bat's claws, powdered insect wings, Petrified spider eyeballs. Yuck! Oh, no! This won't get us home. Merlin! Help! <laughs> Sorry. So, you were trying to create a spell that would get you and your friends back home, correct? Yes, yes, and I'm sorry, but the dragons... Ah, yes, the dragons. I switched the spells. Only good magic could undo Merlin's spell and release the dragons. So I had to trick you into undoing Merlin's spell. But you're Merlin, aren't you? Merlin hasn't lived for a thousand years. For you know me as Vengeance! Oh, no! I will use the magic of your hat to add to my power as my winged terrors destroy the town of Helix. The anniversary of the last time the dragons attacked is now our greatest holiday. We were sent here to find a clue to help us get home. In the meantime, though, your friends seem to be enjoying our celebration. I can see great wealth in your future. And in the future, I see... Oh, no! No! What is it? The dragons! The dragons are coming back! I still don't know why we were sent here, Mayor, but at least we got to meet Merlin on the way. How could you? Merlin died a thousand years ago, soon after casting a spell that vanquished Venger's flying dragons. Merlin died? But we met him, and he said he was only 70. Mayor! Mayor! I saw them! The dragons are returning! Sound the alarm! Take shelter! We have to go back and get Merlin to help. I don't think that guy we met was Merlin. But he looked like Merlin standing there stroking his white rabbit. Not his rabbit, his hair. 
His white hair! Dungeon Master said we'd know Venger by his white hair. We thought he meant hair, like on his head. Then Presto is alone with Venger. We've got to save him. And find out how to stop these dragons. Let's find Bobby and Eric. Clear the town square! Evacuate the village! Hurry! Mayor, I think I know how to stop the dragons, but we'll need horses. In the stables! That way! Not the worst of it. The legend says the final assault will come soon and our town will be completely destroyed. Venger must have reversed Merlin's spell. The one that kept the dragons away. Right, and we've got to put that spell back. <laughs> Look at that hole in the castle. I sure hope Presto's okay. Boy, I really blew it. Some wizard. Presto! Hank! Am I glad to see you? Merlin's not Merlin. He's Venger. He stole my hat and all my powers. Worse, he tricked me into undoing Merlin's spell. The town of Helix is being destroyed right now. You've got to cast Merlin's spell again. Me? I'm no Merlin. And you will not cast another spell tonight. I have the wizard's hat. Hand over the rest of your objects of power. <laughs> We can't do that, Venger. You have no choice. Bobby, use your club. Whatever you say, Hank. Hey, I got him. That won't hold him long. Let's go. What do we do? Try to keep away from Venger while Presto works on Merlin's spell. We've got to put out these torches. Let me give it a try. You cannot escape! Wait! I know where Merlin's spellbook is! Presto and I'll make a run for it while you four try and keep him busy! Keep him busy? What are we supposed to do? Tell him jokes? Eric, Diana, I've got an idea! This had better be one terrific idea! I don't know if I could do this, Hank. I mess up every magic trick I try. You can do it, Presto. We've got to stop the dragons before they destroy Helix. This game is ended. It is time I eliminated you once and for all. Remember the one thing that Bender's afraid of? Tiamat the dragon! Tiamat the dragon? You're gonna let the dragon loose? Don't we have enough problems? Eric, stop talking and start helping. I don't believe this. I will add your magic to mine and then destroy you and your meddlesome friends. Stay away from me, dragon! Let's get out of here! You have won for now, but I shall win in the end! Presto, hurry! There's still time to save Helix, but not much. Okay, here goes nothing. In the name of Merlin, in the time of sorrow, banish winged demons. Let there be tomorrow! I knew it wouldn't work. But the dragons are disappearing. You did it, Presto! I did? Yeah, I did! I only stayed with Merlin because I thought I could find a way to get us home. We understand, Presto. Look, the ladder's disappearing. That's not all. Merlin's whole castle is floating away. Now I'll never get my magic hat back. I wouldn't say that. Lose this, wizard? My hat. Hey, everybody. I'm back in the magic business. Oh, great. 
Listen, Dungeon Master, while you're returning things, how about returning us to... He did it again! <laughs> I'll never be that good a magician. Well, I know a place where they think you're as good as Merlin himself. Yeah, Helix! That's right, Presto. In Helix, you're a hero. I am? Then let's go. Climb aboard, Eric. Are you kidding? I don't ride with anyone else. I want a steed of my own. Presto, would you produce something for Eric to ride on? Sure. <laughs> what? I'm not riding on any cow. No way. I don't ride anything that gives milk. Hey, come back here. Who asked you? Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.